Hey everyone, in this video we're taking a look on the Retouch Me Color Match plugin for DaVinci Resolve. An AI powerful OFX tool that promises quick, consistent color matching across shots. But how well does it actually work in real life editing? Let's find out. In my color node I'm creating a second node and I'm expanding the effects tool and I'm looking for their plugin which is retouch for me and I'm adding it onto my second node. As you can see on the right side now we have a few options that are available for this plugin. And the first feature that we're gonna preview is using a reference image and that is basically using an image or a still shot from a footage so that you can copy their gradings. So I'm selecting choose reference image and I'm browsing onto my computer so I can find one and then click on open. Now it is automatically applied and what I added is actually a footage from movie Joker from 2019 and it is having that really nice cinematic look which I want to reference onto my footage that I'm working on. First and foremost onto the top side you can see that there's two settings which are temperature and tint. Not everything will be perfect from the first click so these are settings that you can readjust after copying the reference from the image that you have just added. And the most important four settings right here is the color match blend, match smoothing, match luminance and match color. You can use those settings in order to make the colors closer to the reference. So here is a preview on the left side is the original one and on the right side is the color match one. And here is before and after in a bigger preview window. And before going to the second feature of this plugin, let's preview the first one again using a different video. I'm creating again a second node and I'm adding the plugin onto the second node and the expanding options are available. I'm selecting the reference image and this time we're working with a black car interior. So I'm looking for another one which is looking similar and I want to copy the grades onto it and refine it into something that is better to my understanding of what it should look like. Of course in DaVinci Resolve you're having an option to copy the color grading but that's everything. In here you're also having an option to readjust and refine the color luminance and overall blend and smoothen the color match. Our second example is working just fine without having any additional need to readjust the colors and the matching but of course it is available for you which is one of the biggest pluses of this plugin. Not just copying the color grading tones but also readjusting after you copy the color grading. So let's quickly preview this second example. I'm putting it on full screen so you can see left is the old one and on the right is the copy color grader. In my opinion it looks better and I'm gonna keep it like this. And now let's introduce our second option that you're having with this plugin which is color grading with LUTs. After adding the plugin from the effects library onto the downside you can see that you're having an option that is called LUT manager. After selecting it a window will appear onto the left side which will include a few folders as well as LUTs outside of those folders. And in here it is very straightforward. Actually what you see is what you're getting. So the color style that you're seeing right now if you double click on it it will be applied onto your main footage. For let's for example go in the folder that is called top 25. This is one of the most used LUTs also including the names just beneath the preview. There are three dots at the end right here which you can click. It will open a second page exploring more of those most popular LUTs. So let's say pick for example one of these. So I'm going to double click on this one which is analog look like and it is already applied. When you added these LUTs you can just use the LUT blend in order to increase or decrease the intensity of that LUT. It is very user friendly and is very straightforward to use. They're having a huge library from you can choose from. And if you want to try it and test it out you can go to their website which I will leave a link in the description. You can check out their products. They're having a few more plugins in there not just for color matching. And also they're having some free products that you can take and test it out. And if you want to take your hands on the full version of these plugins, you can use my link in the description, which is having a promo code of MOLIN20, having at least 20% discount. So make sure you check it out. And again, thanks for tuning in for another video. I hope it was helpful and informative. Don't forget to check the links in the description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.